Should I buy or sell Amazon? The report for Amazon was first published on our website Wednesday, November 30, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since November 30, 2022, our system ranks Amazon as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.459. In the period the stock had natural movements but currently sit with a loss of 0% since we first recommended hold slash accumulate. In our daily updates for Amazon our last headline reads, Amazon stock upgraded to hold slash accumulate. The Amazon stock price gained 3.58% on the last trading day, Wednesday, November 30, 2022, rising from $92.28 to $95.58. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 4.46% from a day low at $91.53 to a day high of $95.61. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 3.62% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 15 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 68 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.54 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $177.99, and the lowest price was $85.87. Right now the price is 46.3%, or $82.41, below 52-week high and 92.68%, or $1,209.62, below all-time high January 15, 2018 where the price hit $1,305.20. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 28.55% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 42.44% and minus 22.18%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 35.08% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 51.87% and minus 15.18%. This equals a price between $46.81.08 and $81.08 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Tuesday, November 22, 2022 Piper Sandler set price target to 119. On Tuesday, November 15, 2022 Moffat Nathanson set price target to 118. On Monday, November 14, 2022 Rosenblatt set price target to 103. On Wednesday, November 2, 2022 Tigris Financial set price target to 192. On Friday, October 28, 2022 Wells Fargo set price target to 155. From analysts Amazon stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Amazon. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, November 9, 2022, and so far it has risen 10.84%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Amazon stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $101.58. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $93.46. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, 
while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 15 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 21 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 26 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 51 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 46 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $92.12 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $4.08 between high and low, or 4.46%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.84%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Amazon. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Amazon currently has a price earning ratio of 101.55. This is an extremely high price to earnings ratio and could mean that a company's stock is overvalued. These kind of price to earnings ratios are typical or tech companies or companies that have extreme market potential. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Amazon meets first resistance at $96.46. If you do not hold Amazon shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Amazon finds first level of support at $92.12 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Amazon is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On November 21, 2022 Harrington Douglas J made an inside sell of 7,456 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On November 21, 2022 Olsavsky Brian T made an inside sell of 2,960 of restricted stock unit. Award. On November 21, 2022 Olsavsky Brian T made an inside sell of 13,780 of restricted stock unit. Award. On November 21, 2022 Olsavsky Brian T made an inside sell of 15,240 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. On November 21, 2022 Olsavsky Brian T made an inside buy of 2,960 of common stock, par value 1 cent per share. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 87.115. In total, the insiders bought 196,297 and sold 3,233,304 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $91.37 minus 4.40%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 14 days ago. Is Amazon stock a buy? Amazon holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Thursday first we expect Amazon to open down minus $1.34 and start trading at $94.24. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities.
you should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to